Welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for Wednesday, November 14th, 2012. We begin with an update from the world of medicine, and actually a follow-up. A while ago on Brainstorm, we discussed Japanese researchers growing the optic cup from mouse stem cells. The optic cup is essentially the precursor to the eye that forms during embryonic development. Now that same group has grown this structure from human embryonic stem cells. Unlike most cells or tissue culturing, this was not done on a flat surface, but instead the cells were grown in a suspension. This allowed the newly formed tissue to self-organize into the desired 3D shape, which is one property of the optic cup that makes it appealing to regenerative medicine researchers. The resulting structures had all the layers and cell types of normal retina tissue, including the crucial photoreceptors. Compared to those grown from mouse cells, the human-derived optic cups were larger and took longer to grow. These differences nicely reflect the normal differences in development when comparing mouse and human embryonic growth. Despite being created in a similar way, growing the human optic cups posed certain challenges, mainly keeping the tissue culture stable for the 100 days necessary to fully grow the structure. But the group overcame this by developing a new cryogenic preservation method. Next is animal testing, and eventually human testing, of the transplant potential for this lab-grown retinal tissue. Next is a story from the world of technology as it applies to medicine. A team from Methodist Hospital and the University of Texas have designed a device for the quick and inexpensive separation of tumor cells. It's based on the fact that cancer is generally squishier than regular cells. Now that might not sound very scientific, but there's actually a very good biological reason for this property of cancer cells. As you may know, cells actually contain complex strands of structural proteins that form the cytoskeleton. However, cancer cells are so focused on multiplying they tend to divert resources away from the cytoskeleton, and more toward division. With less of these structural proteins, the overall cell is more flexible. So this team developed the mechanical separation chip, which attempts to force a large number of cells through tiny barriers. Normal cells are more rigid and get stuck, but there's plenty of other paths for the cancer cells to slip through, allowing for high thoroughput separation of cells, and the chips only cost about $10. As an added level of filtration, cancer stem cells were even more flexible than the average tumor cell. Cancer stem cells unsurprisingly have all the amazing properties of stem cells, which unfortunately means they're good at forming tumors and causing metastasis. The mechanical separation chip should allow better analysis of cancer by doctors by helping spot dangerous stem cells and help in general research. Our final story comes from the world of chemistry. Many groups are attempting to make materials with unique optical and physical characteristics. As part of that goal, scientists from New York University and Harvard have developed new particles with the ability to self-assemble. These are chemically modified colloids, which are essentially any small particle suspended in a fluid. Colloids are part of everyday materials such as milk, gelatin, and paint. Previous work has created some rudimentary structures from particles like this, but complex 3D assembly was impossible. That's because normal colloids lack directional bonding. By modifying them to have this property, more complex structures are possible. Despite being much larger, directionally bonded colloids would act like atoms, creating large-scale crystals or molecule-like structures. To do this, the scientists added chemical patches to the particles made from DNA, specifically single-stranded DNA, the complementary base pairs forming the actual bonds between the colloids. By customizing the strand sequence, the scientists can determine how particles with various properties interact with each other, leading to potentially self-assembling structures like 3D electronic circuits and photonic crystals. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.